Hi, this is Bill Brie Kid, reporter at the Yale Town Roundhouse in Vancouver, BC, Canada. With us here is Hannah Teeters, Olympic snowboarder. So you just got a $30,000 check for your charity and you also support that um, supports a village in Kenya and you also have done a few things like Save the Seals, right? Yes, I have and uh, you know, just really love helping out in all the ways I can and, and getting information out there for people who might not know about things like Save the Seals here in Canada um, where the, the massacre occurs right after the Olympics and all the baby seals are basically skinned alive so I don't think a lot of people know about that and I think I'd, I have a good position to really set you know, a, a bar for knowledge and try to get it out there. So you're also with um, World Vision, right? Yes, I work with World Vision and sponsor the town in Kirindan, Kenya. 70,000 people were working to equip the whole village with clean water, so it's kind of a big mission, but it's really fun to do. So why a World Vision out of the so many charities that are available? Um, I approached World Vision because they sponsor whole villages and I wanted to do something big and uh, at the time they were just you know one of the biggest organizations making huge differences so I approached them and they've just been really easy to work with and, and making the changes happen quickly. How has it been in Vancouver? Is this what you expected? Um, I didn't know really what to expect and uh, I spent the first couple days in the village and then me and my family got a house together right in North Vancouver and it's just such a beautiful city, positive people, good atmosphere, organic food, and uh, that's what I love, so. Yeah, me too. And so, what do you think is the coolest thing about snowboarding? I think the coolest thing about snowboarding is the camaraderie and how well everybody gets along and that we're all really good friends and also big competitors and I think we just set a new image for competition on how you can be best friends with your competitor but still try hard at something you love so it's, it's cool to show that. Yeah, were you into um, um, sports and snowboarding as a kid? I was. I had four older brothers and they all love sports, soccer and basketball and I was just tagging along and like, wait up for me! And then they got into snowboarding and I thought they looked so cool doing it so that's why I wanted to try it and then all of a sudden it just became a, a, a hobby, then a passion and now my job. So it's. What was the moment when you decided you wanted to do snowboarding more than just fun at a professional level? I decided to, be, I didn't really actually decide to become professional, it just kind of happened. Yeah, I was doing some amateur contests and just having a lot of fun and then I tried some pro events and didn't do that great but then I, I went back and tried them again and did really well and then I just kind of kept with it and all of a sudden I was at the Olympics and you know doing, doing really well. When not snowboarding, what else are you doing? Um, when I'm not snowboarding... What's your favorite thing to do? I love uh, going to the beach <laughs> and longboarding on, you know, tropical waves. And I just, I love cooking and I play the didgeridoo. And I uh, just have a lot of fun stuff, doodling and trying to write poetry and all that. Yeah. And so, m what has been your most exciting moment since you arrived in Whistler in Vancouver? Uh, the most exciting moment? Hmm, that's a good one. Uh, probably when I first got to the house where my whole family was going to be staying and uh, just realized uh, how lucky I am to be here and to have the opportunity and the chance to, you know, be a role model and, and influence others through a passion, so it's... What about the silver? And the silver was a really good moment too. When, they, when I was at the ceremonies last night and there was 20... 5,000 people there and they all were cheering when me, Kelly and Tora came out and stepped on the podium and it was just, it was like, you know, a lot of, a lot of good energy, so. so. Wow, your family must be really proud of you. Yeah, they're really, the biggest supporters I have, they've just always been there for me and always, you know, really backing whatever I wanted to do and, and uh, just really positive, so. How long have you been into charities? Did you do charity when you were a kid? Uh, we sponsored a child in a third world country when I was younger and they would write letters and send pictures and just show the, the difference that we were making in their, in their lives. So I always knew from a young age that um, just the influence we can have on third world countries is, is huge. Yeah. Well, thank you. Hey, thank you. Thank yeah, you. it was great meeting you. I think you're amazing too.
check Samsung just gave me for the charity, 30000 uh -huh. Which uh, will, you know, install some new wells in Kirindin and bring a lot of clean water to the people there. And it's just amazing to partner oh, up with them. And your, and your charity is Hannah's Gold. Hannah's Gold, yeah. Hannah's uh, Gold. Is that, is that with um, World Vision? Yeah, right now uh, we're, we're working to make Hannah's Gold its own foundation. But uh, we work with World Vision to support Kenya. So Wow, a great Olympic Olympian and, a, and you give to charity. It's great. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you. thank you. That is amazing. So, thanks for watching. This is Brian Bree. Time for Kids Kid Report at the Yale Town Roundhouse in Vancouver, BC, Canada. That was Hannah Teeter, Olympic snowboarder, who won a silver just two days ago. So, I'll see you next time.